Dr. Disrespect, developing an FPS game, which we knew already, right? Yeah. That will give and will give fans the chance to win an opportunity to buy an NFT. Which the, the, the whole like last two thirds of that aside, as far as my understanding goes, before streaming, he used to be a level designer. Oh yeah, it goes into it right now. Uh, so. He used to be a level designer for FPS. new games. game studio is Midnight Society. Okay, it was co-founded by the streamer, um, former uh, Call of Duty creative strategist Robert Bowling and Halo 5 multiplayer designer Quinn Del Hoyo. While literally no other details have been revealed about the upcoming first-person shooter, we do know that the game will contain everyone's favorite feature, NFTs. The company promises that the game will be the most community-focused online PvP multiplayer experience the world has ever seen. Whew. They hope to use the collective strength of the community to go hands-on during crucial early development milestones. Typically, game studios will pay employees to do alpha and beta testing and QA, but Midnight Society is graciously offering a select group of 10,000 community members a $50 Founders Access Pass, so that's a cool half a million dollars, that will provide access to early builds, Discord channels, and the chance to vote on key design decisions. So, pause for a second. I understand that we are against this general concept, but I would like to say the way that this is written is very inflammatory when this is not, this is actually very standard practice these days. This is not like, this is not like, whoa, these guys figured out that you get people to pay to test your game? What? Like that's been happening for a long time. So, okay. I just want to make that clear that this is super normal so far. The pass holders will also be able to mint a unique, procedurally generated, tradable visor design. No longer normal. With differing <laughs> levels of rarity. They just put NFTs and loot boxes and paid early access together. Let's go. It's like <laughs> it's like one middle finger wasn't enough. They gave you all three, three middle, middle fingers. fingers. <laughs> they grew another <laughs> arm to give you another middle finger. Oh, man. Beautiful. These will be created using environment-friendly NFT technology. So ah, good. Not I mean, Ethereum. And purchasers will be able good. to sell their stupid pass on marketplaces after a 30-day lockdown period. Okay, who wrote this? Oh, it's uh, it's uh, our new writer who's not off probation yet. Okay, uh, that's a little, that's too much color commentary in a news story, okay, it's, AS? It is very clear that the person that read, wrote this does not like it's it. Super nonplussed. Yeah. Super nonplussed. The Founders Pass will not be first come, first served. Instead, you get to apply for the chance to pay them for this <laughs> <laughs> bullshit vaporware. <laughs> the application process, I'm not even changing the colorful writing here. Yeah. <laughs> the application process is live and applicants will be judged on various criteria, including but not limited to seniority in the community, activity in the community, how active of a gamer or creator or developer they are in general, and their vision for what makes a good PVP shooter. Okay. Founders Pass holders will also get first priority in par being part of an elite class of rulers within the game and company who get to decide on future items and assets that will be included and sold in the game. Hopefully they get to mint more of them because they're making this sound like an investment, which is just, that's brilliant. You know what the worst part it's is? really smart. Is that Dr. Disrespect is going to be a billionaire off this project. Oh, it's going to be huge. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So... Should we just like, can I be a billionaire, please? Can we just embrace this? No. Okay. I'll disown you. I know. I disown me. <laughs> just sucks. Like, <laughs> pyramid schemes seem like an extremely good way to make money. They're so easy, yeah. I know. I'm trying to find... Um, Jaden's not... all mad. Jaden, you'll develop what I tell you to develop. <laughs> I feel like if you got him to make NFTs, that might not actually be the case. I think he might just quit. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm trying to find, I know on the Linus Tech Tips Twitter account, there was something posted very recently. Here it is. Um, it's a the picture of the guy wearing Beats, and it says, I bought these headphones. Sure, yeah, yeah. Picture of the guy wearing Beats, I bought these headphones for their looks. The response is, that's absolute nonsense in 2010. And then 
picture of a dude who bought a mouse and this mouse has three times more RGB than any other mouse. And then the response is, I'll take two. I feel like this is this is like in a lot more spaces than just hardware. Like I, I think back then, the purchasing of skins in game, like think of horse armor, right? Horse armor. The reaction of horse armor was super negative. Yep. Now, if you look at um, Lost Ark, people are frustrated that the North American version doesn't have enough cosmetics to buy in the store. They want more of the purchasable cosmetics to come from the, I believe, Korean version of the game uh, into the North American one because they're like, dude, I can't buy enough stuff. This is really frustrating. And that has been just, I, I think, honestly, seeing that happen and seeing the community in general just be like, yeah, true, has made me, that was one of the strongest, most like, I'm a boomer moments I've pretty much ever had. It's like, because to me, that's just so wrong. Yeah. My kids will not buy in game cosmetics. It's crazy. If they do, I will literally kill their allowance forever. There's some stuff, like if it's a completely free, like in League of Legends, if people are like, I play this game a ton and it's completely free and I want to like show some support to the devs, I don't mind that. When people spend like two grand on cosmetics in League of Legends, which absolutely happens. I know more than one person who has done that personally. That's when I'm like, dude, what are you doing? It's time to stop. Yeah. Like, come on. And to be clear, I'm not talking game functionality, right? Like if you buy, like I know uh, League of Legends has like a character rotation for the ones that you can play for free, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if you buy a character that you really like to play, that's at least more akin to an expansion pack. It's actual functionality. And it's a, it's a free game, right? Yes. Th that's another important part to add on top of this. Is it's a free game. Um, and Lost Ark is a free game. They do have like a monthly thing. My silent that protest can is that when I play Halo Infinite, which I'm not right now because I'm doing all my gaming on Steam Stick Deck. on the default skin. I, I play gray. Default Chad, dude. Default default gray yeah i won't even i won't even use the ones that i earn for free and it looks i don't know it looks good i i don't really understand yeah i don't know so there's a few more notes from um the new writer discussion question mm. this is so stupid they are selling a monetization scheme and then promising the game will be good i hate this so much is decentralizing game development just a new attempt to avoid paying employees for work this uses all the classic scam rhetoric Get in on the ground floor. Just one small investment in the future. Decentralized. Buy now or miss out. Why did you make me read and write about this, Linus? Why? That's not really how the discussion that's, questions are supposed to work. That's uh, quite writer. an extensive statement. Yeah. So. <laughs> that being said, don't really disagree. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Oh, okay. What else we got? Yeah, that's rough. That's a game I'll I'll never play. 